everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm coming to you from my house in my pajamas because why not? Check these bad boys out. I got these from the kids section in Kmart because I'm cool. And they have little French bulldogs on them, so who could not? Today we're gonna do a what's in my bag edition. It's gonna be a little bit different because this is my nappy bag. Back in my mum's day, nappy bags were heinous, absolutely heinous, and you can still find a lot of those in the market, but I think they've realised a lot of women want bags that actually look like handbags, so this is a Mimco nappy bag, comes with the change mat and everything, which is not in my bag because things always fall out and fall in, and as you're going to see today, so let's begin. Firstly, it has these two little straps if you, you want to wear it over your shoulders, but I never use them because I always use this guy, which unclips and it's just a lot comfier to carry, especially when I'm baby wearing. And the clips make it amazing if I'm using my pram, just clip it onto the handle, handlebar. There's a lot of pockets, you're going to have to bear with me. Let's start with the back, this guy. This is my change mat and nappy pocket normally. This is my nappy. Not my nappy, but Abigail's nappy. She's currently a size five. My husband dared me to try on one of her nappies the other day and it did fit one leg. Okay, we have glasses in the nappy section. They're clean nappies. In case you need to see. Yep. <laughs> I think my bag represents my brain. It's just a mishmush, a scattered jumble of things. So welcome to my world. Oh, we have an Ankalia tote. Ankalia is an Australian wrap brand, if you don't know. But what's inside it? I did have the Quarry Granite in it yesterday, but I wore that at work and I've left that in my car. For anyone who knows where I live, please don't break into my car. This is actually a fling studio. This is my lobster pot. This is one of my all time favorite wraps. It's actually British. It's just beautiful. I actually add them in the chatter page. Look, look, this is the wrong side. Isn't it just gorgeous? Look at that gray. Can you deal with it? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right, so what else do we have in here? Bunch of other nappies. I'm the wood paper. I go with the organic nappies because they're eco-friendly and they're biodegradable and they're also breathable so my baby's little bottom doesn't get a nappy rash. Win, win, win. Good for eco, good for me, good for the environment. Why would you go for plastic or bleach? Some baby headphones. They're not going to fit me because they're for a baby. Sound cancelling. These were a godsend on the plane, travelling with baby. Also, if we're going past some construction or if there's a place with loud music. I never realised when I was single how loud restaurants actually are until I had a baby. These guys are really handy. Baby rattle. My little baby is teething at the moment. This guy has water in it, which is amazing because you put it in the fridge, it keeps it cool and then they chew on it and it's soothing. And it's also a little, little rattle to keep them entertained. Oh, Abigail's keys. I always say this one's to her house. This one's to her car. And this one's to my heart. Yeah, a little bit corny, I know. <laughs> Sophie. Okay, Sophie, I have probably fallen into the trap that is mother marketing, parenthood marketing. Where are this? Something that's really cool and all the moms have it and all the moms have to have it and all of the bloggers have it, Instagrammers have it. It's this guy. She's vanilla scented. She squeaks. She's really soft, non-toxic, BPA free and children love her because she has limbs and different parts that stick out. My daughter's first two bottom teeth broke through last night. I know, exciting, thank you. And this was a godsend. She just was chewing on a little face, squeaking away, eased her teething pain. What else do we have in here? Some sling rings. These help do different finishes with the wrap. You could do a no-so ring sling. I got bronze because I like rose gold and it was the closest thing to rose gold. Kind of not really. Kind of not really, no. Okay, I love them. They're from Brandy Penny Baby. Jo, she's absolutely lovely and 
They're really affordable, so if you have a wrap, you should definitely have this as an accessory. And they make cool bracelets if you want to make noise. Yeah! Okay. A hat for protection from the sunny sun in Melbourne winter right now. Hey, it's Melbourne. The weather changes. Who knows? I honestly don't know what I have in here. One of my hair is this. A pen. Pens are handy for writing down things. That's a given. A little top. Another little top. This is from my friend. I love it. It's French and it's seed. So what's not to like? I always have outfits in the bag in case of poop explosions, nappy leakages, which doesn't happen too often, but just in case. Also, now that she is doing baby lid weaning, she gets food everywhere. Some little leggings. These are socks for cold feet. Oh. A receipt from the post office with some tracking numbers of wraps that I have sent back to their owners because they were traveling with me. Generous mama, thank you. Some emergency baby wipe that we bought in Thailand. I don't ordinarily use this brand. I prefer to use something a little bit more gentle. Actually, these feel really soapy. I would not buy them again. I might actually use them for cleaning around the house. Some cereal cream. This stuff is actually amazing. It soothes, heals, and protects. If you put this on a cold sore, it will dry overnight. It's that amazing. It's great for pimples. More importantly for nappy rash, don't put your fingers back in after using it once. I try to keep everything sanitary and sterile. I think that's from my nursing background and fine or whatever. I will use like one finger and then if I need to grab more, I'll use it another finger or I'll wash my hands in between just to keep it sterile in there. Hmm. Another pair of little socks. They have gold in them. I'm such a magpie. I love anything gold or sparkly. A singlet because it's all been weather. I'm like making a proper mess. Ooh, my wallet. This is important. It's Prada. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a brand home. I'm going to show you the contents of here because it's pretty boring. A typical mum wallet. Some stray currency here from... No, that's a five cents. I thought it was going to be something interesting. Oh, here we go. Ten Agarot from Israel. Another sock. Glasses cleaning spray. Does not smell good. Well, I'm not going to be embarrassed by this because I'm an adult, but I will show you anyway. Uh, these were emergency pads which I bought in Thailand because I got my first period after six months of breastfeeding. And this was the only brand that I kind of thought I recognized. Normally I go for organic and whatever, but obviously overseas it's a little bit harder to find. We're kind of spoiled here in Australia. Another little onesie. I'm gonna check the size on this because this has been in here a while. I don't even know if that's her size. Yeah, it's her size. So in case we suddenly have some hot weather. A little baby comb. Okay, I haven't actually opened this up. It was covered in hair. We were given this in the hotel in Thailand. They gave us a little package, like a little kitty bag with um, things that we may or may not need for the baby. It was like powder, shampoo, body wash, bubble bath, all that stuff, like baby stuff. It's really cute of them. They even gave us a little robe and little slippers. They were probably for like a, a two to four year old, but points for trying. <laughs> Ooh, Paco Rabanne. Yeah, it still smells. Um, this is Olympia. When I had a handbag, not a nappy bag, I used to always get samples and just pop them in my handbag because it's nice and nice smells around you. One of Abigail's little headbands because her hair gets in her eyes and it's nice to dress up an outfit with a headband. If you would like to clean your glasses, this is a cloth. There is a lot of random stuff in here. Customer hold ticket from David Jones for someone by the name of Natalie. Natalie, if this is you, I did not steal your goods. My mum's used it to write a phone number on the back. I hope you found your lay-by or whatever it was. A tax invoice from Schnitz. Another receipt for Safeways, because you're going to do your grocery shopping. Another Paco Rabanne sample. I think I'm a fan. There's literally just a bunch of receipts in here. This is great because I'm cleaning out my bag. Apparently I bought a snood. Petroleum. Gotta buy your petroleum unless you walk or cycle everywhere. In which case, good on you, that's good for the environment. You are good. Oh, baby expert. 
We went to the baby expo and we thanked God that we baby wore because the amount of mums trying to navigate their bulky prams around and having collisions and it was like an obstacle course, it was really awful. So we were able to zoom in and zoom out with Abigail on my person, Aldi. Good old Aldi. What did I buy? I bought sardines for my dog. Quality product from Telstra because I bought a phone and then I had to return it. But they gave me a new one, so yay, happy time. A little zip lock bag for your drugs and things. I don't even know what that's from. This is my TV necklace. I keep saying things of mine, they're actually for Abigail. I wear it, but Abigail chews on it, just to clarify. Great for teething, great for mums who want to have their neck yanked on. It's perfect for mums who want to adorn saliva or drool. But as a mum, there are a lot worse things that you could be covered in. Realistically, they're actually great if you've got your baby in a carry, you just put it on and it's there and you're not going to lose it. If you've got them on your back, you just pop it around the back. They chew on it and play with it and it's great for feeding too if you've got a pincher or a scratcher they like to play with these sometimes you need to give them a little bit of a redirect let's go to the side pockets normally i would have my phone in here but i'm recording on it another random sock my sister bought these in canada for us so cute this is rose gold lip gloss my mum was given this as a gift and she thought that i would appreciate it that's funny that i say that because it's called bmt tax depreciation it's actually advertising can you see it look i'm a blogger see with my hands but look how cool this is oh it has a light in case you want to put lip gloss on in the dark who doesn't some purple ointment this is really good for chapped lips especially the start of or really anytime during breastfeeding you need to keep up your fluids and you get chapped lips and yeah that's handy a bling bling stapler um, a black cotton and a needle because my mom called me to tell me that she had three holes in her pants and to help her so she could fix them Um, this is a lipstick. You see it? Do you see it? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see if I do that? It's red. Classic red, actually. Made in Australia. Coral Colors Cosmetics. Don't even know. I think it's a cheapie. Oh, look, another receipt. Post. This is a little bit of a dressier headband. We must have been going some more fun too. Headbands last on here, honestly. Five minutes. Am I a hoarder? No, no, sorry. This has purple with manuka honey. Five Dota. Culturally inappropriate, I apologize. So these are little sunglasses. Whoa, they actually fit my head. They're my daughters. They're a little bit big on her. Um, I think they're made for five-year-olds. Whoops. We have NYX lipstick. You see it? Okay, here on. You see it? You see it? In shade 5638. Um, it's just really a nice, like, pinky side color. And here we have Mark, cream shade, cream shade, Carl It looks like I've eaten it. This is what I'm wearing now. Um, I don't know why I have a thousand lipstick in my bag. There might even be more. Yes, there are. NYX Baby Pink. That's appropriate. Baby Pink lipstick in my nappy bag. And orange. I'm blogging. Can you see? I'm blogging. I'm a blogger. I don't think you need five lipsticks in your nappy bag. 20 cents not in my wallet because it wants to be different it's not mainstream what else do we have do we have anything else in these pockets an empty jewelry box um these are really important for your nappy bag because if you just don't ask how do i look um, I don't think I use all of these keys. My muffin break club card. I love their chai lattes. I have used it so much that there's no barcode anymore. This is my Good Life gym membership, which I quit probably three years ago now. I just can't let it go. I want to go back one day, eventually. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the contents of the chaos that is my nappy bag. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, like and subscribe. Bye! Oh my god, I can't feel my leg. Oh.